Over the last 50 years, fast food has swept across our nation, bringing with it a slew of diet-related health issues like heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, impotence, and even cancer. The standard American foods we're eating are killing us. We've both seen firsthand the power of plant-based eating and what it can do to totally transform people's lives. So we embarked on a mission to show the world what eating a plant-based diet can do for health in just seven days. We turned to Craigslist to see if we could find someone willing to go plant-based for one week and allow us to document their journey. Hey guys, uh, my name is Raul Medina and I think I'd be perfect for this because like for the past six years, I really struggled with my weight and you know, I've done different diets and nothing seems to work. I just don't seem to understand. And I don't want something tragic to happen, you know, in order for me to get on, get on track and be healthy. It's just, it's a bittersweet moment. <laughs> when we saw Raul's submission video come in, we were so drawn to him and his personality and we could just sense his authentic desire to overcome his lifelong struggle with health and food. Day one for me, going vegan. I'm gonna shower, get ready, because I will be meeting Michelle and Tony today in Sacramento for my blood test. Um, Michelle and Tony, they're so amazing. They've been texting me this morning already. We were so excited to go and meet Raul and start on this seven day journey. years since I've been to the doctor. I don't have insurance and I feel like it'd be so expensive. We wanted to get Raul's blood tested before and after the project so that he could see exactly how seven days of plant-based eating impacted his health. And that's like one thing my mom feared when I was working, when I told her I started working at a fast food place. She thought it was going to be really unhealthy just because, you know, they give you a free meal and just eat all you want. I do eat a lot of fast food. Every order, I order a lot. I never order as much when I'm with my family as if I were by myself. Um, can I get, can I get a shredded chicken burrito? Nacho bel grande? A cheesy gordita crunch? Four pack of cinnamon. Can I get a large Pepsi? Yeah, of Each week I probably spend around $120. Food. Many people assume that fast food is cheap, but Raul currently spends more than $6,000 a year eating fast food. In our meal plans, where we show you how to eat healthfully for a food budget of just $25 per week, Raul could be saving $5,000 a year on food. I don't want them to see everything I'm eating. It would definitely be difficult very hard just because if I don't have any fast food then that means I'm gonna have to be cooking my own meals. When his test results came back in we wanted Raul to be able to talk to a doctor especially since he hadn't been to the doctor in so long so we set up a call with Dr. Michael Graker. Hey! Hey Dr. G how are you doing? Hey good thanks. The number one cause of death in the United States for both men and women is heart disease um, and so-called LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol is a primary risk factor. And so if you look at your LDL cholesterol, it is flagged as high, but yours is worse than normal. It's high. So it's a, a 109 milligrams per deciliter. What we want to do is cut that in half. We really want to be down 50, 60, 70. That's how low we want it to go in order for you to be essentially heart attack proof. So cutting down a meat, eggs, dairy, and junk will decrease all the things that boost your cholesterol. And for most people, that's all it takes. 
We hooked Raul up with our one week plant based on a budget meal plan and took him on his first ever plant based grocery shopping trip where we showed him how to buy healthy food on a budget. When we first met Raul, he was eating fast food 12 times a week. He was drinking soda every day and had never made a home cooked meal. I myself don't ever cook at home, but my, I live with my sister and she cooks every day. So I tried eating healthy, but I just didn't have the resources and it just seemed very difficult for me. And so I just went back to my normal eating, which was like fast food places. Fast and simple. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Like it's so fast and, and it's so fulfilling. This is my morning of day two. I got up this morning, I was so shocked. Usually, when I get up in the morning, I feel so tired. I feel bloated, I feel like my hands are so swollen, my feet are so swollen. You know, I feel great, I feel energized, and it's only been one day, so. Okay, so I'm gonna have my breakfast right now. This right here. This is actually good. <laughs> so many of you are probably asking yourselves right now, why am I eating in my room? Well, I haven't talked to my family about this change of lifestyle that I'm doing, going vegan. Um, I'm not sure how they'll react to it. And so I haven't told anybody in my family I haven't told any, any of my friends. We decided to invite Raul and his mom over for a home-cooked vegan dinner so we could show her all the changes that Raul has been going through. Type 2 diabetes can be prevented, can be arrested, and can even be reversed. You can actually reverse, cure type 2 diabetes. Um, with a uh, healthy plant-based diet. And I would encourage you um, to share some of the healthy things you're gonna be eating with your mom, with your whole family, and so the whole family can get healthier at the same time. So I'm here with my mom and I just told her and my entire family that, you know, I'm going vegan for seven days. Estoy happy, estoy encantada de la vida, porque es, es, este, es algo bueno principalmente para su salud, mi salud, y la de toda mi familia. Y si mi hijo está bien, yo estoy mucho mejor, y lo felicito por esa decisión que él ha tomado a ser una persona muy saludable, y estoy muy feliz. Happy day number three. I'm running a little bit late to work, but I got all my meals, my veg, my snacks for the day, so let's go. One of my favorite breakfasts, just because it's so fulfilling, keep me full, and so I like my snack later today. So right now I'm just gonna have like a smoothie, kale, blueberries, um, soy milk. Before, I would just drive by like one of these places right here or this one, which is my favorite, Taco Bell, and then order literally everything on the menu and then go to sleep. Am I craving it right now? Yes, I'm craving it, but you know, we all gotta make sacrifices if we really want something. people that I had talked about you know going vegan for seven days and they were just not supportive at all how do you feel about me going vegan I don't know what's wrong with you what are you doing <laughs> what's wrong with me yeah what do you mean you gotta have me why do you think I should have me because it's natural I was asking myself why I was doing this and, you know, is it worth it? Don't let that negativity get to you. Just do it for yourself. Sister, so what do you think about what I'm doing right now? That looks pretty good. Yeah? Ooh. If you're wondering where I learned how to slice the avocado, 
Michelle and Tony taught me, so I have no idea before. Just got home from work. I feel like I'm getting the temptation right now to like just see anything, but I'm um, I'm gonna go and make a healthy smoothie. Super good. So, I'm gonna just show you guys real quick what I used to buy. I would just buy like literally like seven donuts and eat the whole thing. You know, all this stuff right here. But no, not anymore. Okay, so this is the size of my bowl for cereal. Look at the size of this. That's just a small cup, the small one. <laughs> Right? Is this, what would I eat in here? Cereal and soup. Well, the I can't ones. believe it. It's day number six. I just wanted to say that I feel amazing. I've never felt like this before. We already knew Rotwool was feeling better than ever, but we were really curious to see what's going on inside his body with his cholesterol levels, which were high, and his risk for disease. So once again, we called on Dr. Gregor to go over his results. Seven days later, LDL cholesterol, I'm excited to tell you, 59. You dropped your LDL cholesterol like 46% in, in seven days. You got it in seven days uh, just by changing your diet. That is extraordinary. We have tremendous power over our health, destiny, and longevity. The vast majority of premature death and disability is preventable with a plant-based diet and other healthy lifestyle behavior. Keep it up, that's fantastic. You are on the road to health. Mmm. I feel like completely different. I feel amazing. Like, I'm feeling my body the correct foods, like a plant-based whole food diet. This is what my body is like thanking me. I feel confident. I do. I feel like, you know, there's, especially because I've had like those, all those negative comments throughout this whole week, it doesn't matter because they're just misinformed. I've always said that I want to inspire people and, you know, just them seeing me, seeing the results that I get and, you know, just seeing how much I've changed. I know it's only been seven days, but it's like they're going to be like inspired. I know they will be. We're really proud that you stuck with it and remember your goals because even before we started this project of talking to you it was such an important thing to gain control of your health.